Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, we're looking at the brand new plugin, MLogo Channel. MLogo Channel comes with 50 unique logo animations that you can use for your channel or really for any video that you deem appropriate. MLogo Channel can be located in your titles. If you'd like a preview, you can simply skim over each of these in your titles browser and you can get a real-time preview of the animations before you decide which ones you would like to use in your video. You apply these just like any other title. In this example, let's look at number 22. So I'm just going to click and drag into my timeline. As we move the playhead, again, you can get some real-time animation previews. So why don't we take a look at our inspector. Now, right away, I know that I want to go ahead and add my logo, and we're gonna do this in the drop zone well. So I'm going to go back over and I'm going to open up my library sidebar, click our title again, to get our inspector back open. We will click our drop zone and then we can select our logo. Now, in this case, the logo is black, so it's hard to see. It is a black PNG, but when I click it, there it is. Now we can click apply clip. And then over in our inspector, we can see all of our options. Now, right away, you'll notice this tool. This is our on-screen control where we can change our position, scale, and rotation really quickly. Now, notice this is only going to move our logo and text content. So all of your animations stay the same. I'm gonna press Command-Z to get back. Over on our inspector, you can see we have our animations in and out content, position, scale, and rotation, as well as blend mode and opacity, so you can really fine tune this. So for instance, we wanna set this back to zero here. So I'm just gonna double click both of my positions, type in zero, and click enter. Down, we can see our type. We can either have a logo or a title. So you are not locked into using a logo, but for this case, we are gonna use our logo. We have our logo title opacity, if you'd like to make changes here. And then our logo pan and inside scale, scale, etc. So our inside scale definitely needs to be brought down so that our logo will match a bit better to our scene. Continue to scroll down and then we can change our logo position only and this is gonna move freely from our text if we decide to do so. We can colorize our logo if we'd like. So by clicking this, and then you can see logo colorized blacks and whites. If we take this and we just move it up, you can see we can now make changes to our color if we want to. Now our Motion VFX branding is black and white, so we will just leave that black. You can see our My Channel here in the title text. Now this is only applicable if you are using the title type, if you wanted to change that. But again, we are using our logo. So let's change that back in our type. Continue down. If you needed to make changes to your title's offset, color, font, size, alignment, line spacing, and tracking, you do so here. Continue scrolling down and you can see these tools here, logo, title, negative one. So why don't we scroll back a bit and you can see when I toggle this on and off, you can see our negative on the left side there. And then our negative two is not gonna make a difference here where we are in our timeline, but this is how you can make changes if you don't want so much of those uh, negative slides happening. I do like the default, so we're gonna leave that on. Let's continue down. And then we can see our subtitle, and this is where you make changes to your text here. As we scroll down, you can then see our subtitle font if you wanna make changes, our color, size, alignment, line spacing, tracking again. 
and then we have our grain. Now, this grain is going to be mostly noticeable in these black sections here. So when I toggle that on and off, you should be able to see there is a bit of difference within that look. You can make changes to your grain amount, your grain type, etc. beneath. And then if we would like to add a glow, we can do so as well. So you can see now that we've got a nice soft glow on our whites bleeding into our blacks. And again, if you want to make changes, you can do so down below. You can make changes to your color, the amount, mix, etc. And finally, background, if we'd like to turn that on and off. And what that's doing is if we were to have a background beneath, then we would just be able to see below that animation. But of course, we don't want that. We like our background, so we're gonna leave it here. I'm gonna turn my glow back off. And there you have it, a quick and simple way to use M Channel logo. All of these tools are similar across all of the 50 preset animations. We can't wait to see what you do with them channel logo. Again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.